Greetings, Grandfather. Now, as you know, I've been bringing some of you along pretty quick. And that's because I feel that events will unfold that will require your action. I know that there are many ways to serve peoples and to do things that are good for all beings. And I'm not suggesting that these ways that I'm providing are the only ways. But they are one pathway of spirituality that provides a means by which to bring mysteries into the open and show you how natural they are. They don't have to be mysterious anymore. Granted, you can't watch this video without having seen any of the other videos or studied any of the printed blogs and uh, have much success, most of you, though some of you have prepared in other ways. But you can, in time, going through the steps one at a time, achieve great things. Not because they are great, but because the need is great. Always remember that. Now, I have talked about many things over time, and there will be continuing storms on the planet. Earth changes, you say, but they're not so much changes as they are Mother Earth trying to keep body and soul together, not unlike you as an individual might do. Sometimes she has to use extreme means, hurricanes, typhoons, like that, cyclonic winds, rain, and so on. And yet, she is not attached at all to causing harm to you. Rather, she would prefer that where she is scrubbing herself or moving herself around was not occupied by people or animals for that matter. It is possible to gently move a hurricane, also known as a typhoon. It is possible to smooth out earthquakes so that they are not overpowering and sudden but you have to allow her to move her body a little bit at a time. I have mentioned these things before. Today I'm going to give you something that you can do to work towards being influential with hurricanes and tornadoes. This has been discussed on the blogs, most likely benevolent magic and a mystical man's world, but we're repeating some and adding to it here on the video to support what has been learned and practiced before by those of you who are in a long course of study with this wisdom. Now, those of you who have studied extending on the written blogs know that that's involved here. But if you have not done that, then use your long touch homework that you've been working on with the videos here. With the long touch homework, you stay in one place physically, you stay in your body, but you extend your sense of touch at a great distance, possibly even to the stars, but often simply even on the other side of the world or a few hundred feet or yards away like that, and not to produce any magical tricks. There are no tricks here. It is only about doing things to help all beings. All right. So use your long touch or use your extending that you've learned on the written blogs, either one, and look for a place if you're out on the land look for a place that's not, that there's no uh, human-built 
uh, structures, as far as you can tell. It can be close by, I, ideally, at least 50 feet away, all right? Or it can be farther away. But again, nothing human made, as far as you can tell, between your line of sight and what you are looking at or reaching towards using long touch. Then, stay in your body, but extend your sense of touch. Only this time, instead of feeling with your hand, though you can do that first if you're doing long touch, but if you're doing extending, just let the energy run out of your hand towards that which you are extending to. Try to make sure there are no animals there either. You want it to be a blank spot. There can be trees, plants, that's fine. If there are little creatures crawling about on the land, that's all right too. They can handle the energy. Now, this is what to do. Reach out with your hand and uh, contact that spot, feeling it. Just feeling it for a few moments so you get the sensation. You may have to move your hand around a bit until you can feel the exact spot that's just right. After you've felt the exact spot that's just right, then lower your arm. Then I want you to reach out, but this time, even though you don't move your feet, all right, I want you to imagine, all right, touching that area with your feet. All right? Just imagine it so well that you can just about feel your feet there. Then relax. Try that for about 30 seconds or so. Next, I want you to reach out with your arm again and touch that spot. All right? Get a good feeling for it. And while your arm is aimed in that spot and you're feeling it, imagine your feet standing there as well. It will be easier to do that with your arm aimed towards that spot and you're having that sense of touch. All right? What we're practicing here is bilocation. This has been written about on the written blogs quite a bit. So there'll be some links once this uh, moves from YouTube to the written blogs and is posted somewhere there. But for now, have that sensation as best as you can. Of course, if you've been doing your extending work or your long touch, it will be easier. Of feeling your hand touching the ground in that spot and at the same time feeling the ground under your feet. Again, do not go out of your physical body. You need to have yourself your being in your physical body because you're extending your sense of touch so that you will be able to feel your physical body where you are and simultaneously feel your physical feet and your hand and fingers touching that spot in the other location. Again, this is by location. You may not know what it's for insofar as insulating and protecting all beings on the planet. But in time, you will find out, and I will reveal it here, how you can use bilocation to influence Mother Earth's weather fields. We have talked some about this before, and this is building on previous material, as always. Remember, before you do any of this work at any time, and I don't repeat this very often these days because I expect you to know it, always say, I am asking that all the most benevolent energies that are available for me be all around me and all about me in the most benevolent way for me now. All right, And when you are done with your practice, and you can practice this bilocation work 
two or three times a week if you like. You don't have to do it that much, but you can. And uh, if you want to do it for two or three minutes each time, that's fine. You don't have to do it that long. If you want to, say, during a time when you have some time off, do it for up to five minutes per time, that's all right. Just practice on it for now, and uh, that would be good. Now, when you're done, every time with that practice session, you say to Mother Earth where you are standing and where you are reaching towards good life. That is something that natural beings on Mother Earth say to each other. All right. So I'll build on this again, and I'll teach you many things here. This is a place to learn things that are advanced, granted. But if you begin at the beginning and study the written blogs, or at least study what is being posted here on video, you will learn many things that you will find are not that difficult to do. But like all things, you must begin at the beginning and move forward each thing building on the other. Good life to you all.